Meshem Hashem Na'asev Natsiach. Welcome back to the Positivity Podcast. I apologize for missing for so long, but we're back and better than ever. Beshem Hashem Na'asev Natsiach. Today's Rosh Chodesh Elul, the auspicious month of Elul, which stands for Ani Ledodi Vedodi Li. I'm to my beloved, and my beloved is to me. And you see, beloved. Dodi means beloved, because the whole month of Elul and Yom Kippur, of course the foundation of our service to God in this month is we have to fear Him and know that He's our King. But after we grasp God's kingship and to know that our life is literally in, a, in His hands and he's, he, he, he judges us, but the month is much more powerful if we serve Hashem and we repent with love because what we accomplish by serving God with love and happiness and positivity is a thousand times more powerful from just fear alone. And for sure, if we're serving God without any thought and without any heart, like the Balatanya says, the month of Elul, the king is in the field. Hashem, our father in heaven, God Almighty is leaving his palace and coming into the field. The question is, are we willing to let him in? The 10 days between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, not only God is in the field, he knocks on the door of our heart and he wants to enter. God is much closer to us in this month and we could accomplish great things. And the number one goal is we just, our mission is very simple. God says, open your heart like the opening of a needle, and I'll open to you like the door of a great grand ballroom. So the goal is that we should come out of our stubbornness, stop being like paro, admit that we haven't fulfilled our great potential. And that's why I wanted to say a massive chidush. This was always bothering me. It says the best days of the year is Yom Kippur and Tu B'Av, which was just a few, two weeks ago. So Tu B'Av was the day that people used to get married. Girls used to go to the fields with white dresses. It always used to perplex me. What's the connection to Yom Kippur? I think it's very simple. When one gets married, only then he could fulfill his true potential and mission in life. Same thing. Yom Kippur and these days of Teshuvah, unless we recognize and live with God every second of our life and realize that only through Him, our relationship with Him, we have meaning so this, the idea is very simple. Just like when you get married, it causes you to fulfill your mission in life. When one repents and uses these auspicious and awesome days of Elul and Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur the proper way, you get back on the path because we've forgotten what our mission is. And that's, I think, the common denominator. Have a great month and a happy new year.